Hey guys, I'm Anna with Skinny Latina and I want you to forget everything you've ever known about meatloaf because today I'm going to teach you how to make meatloaf the Skinny Latina way. So the first thing that we're going to do, your typical meatloaf, it's going to have ground beef, but it's going to have a secret ingredient, which is ham. So you can use any kind of ham that you like, a deli ham, a Virginia ham, honey ham, whichever is your favorite. And you're going to put it in a food processor. And if you don't have a food processor, you need to get. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to pulse it. That's about right. So this is what you're looking for. Should just look kind of like a fine, but not, you don't want it to be mush. Got my big bowl, put in my ground beef. Okay. Add my ground ham to that. So I have about three cloves of minced garlic in here. I'm gonna break two eggs. And this is our binder. It's when I'm going to hold it together. So I'm going to mix that up separately because once you start working on your meat, you don't want to handle it too much. You don't want, because that's what makes it get a little bit tough. So the idea is to kind of add your ingredients as processed as possible. I'm going to add some onion, a little bit of milk, some salt and the ham is already going to be salty so don't overdo the salt and about a quarter cup of the skinny latina mirror i'm eyeballing it but this is also optional but it looks pretty so just some flat leaf italian parsley All right, let's throw that in there. so when you're mixing it kind of do this motion instead of crushing it together with your hands because that's just going to toughen everything up. You don't want it to be just one solid block, but you want to mix it up enough so that the flavors really combine. So I've got a glass uh, meatloaf or loaf pan. You can use the aluminum kind. What I did was that I greased it with a little bit of olive oil and I put parchment on the bottom just to make the cleanup easier. It's not necessary. I recommend it. So we're gonna put it in here. Just, you can push it down, but not just, don't put all your weight on it. Okay, and this is gonna go into the oven, probably about 40 to 45 minutes. So here's the part that makes this meatloaf, it really takes it over the top. It is the mango apricot barbecue sauce. We're gonna use about three quarters of a cup and some garlic powder, some minced onion, a little brown sugar, a little extra salt, and pepper. I'm gonna mix this up. Let it sit for a while so that everything really comes together and that sugar has time to dissolve. And we're gonna put this right over the meatloaf in the last 20 minutes of cooking and it's just gonna glaze the whole thing and it's gonna be amazing. Perfect. Now we're going to get the glaze that we made earlier, put it right on top, and we're going to pop it back in the oven for another 20 minutes, and then we should be ready to eat. Okay, so it's 
almost ready, but you should let it sit for about 10 minutes before you cut it so it kind of has time to set really well and it doesn't fall apart when you cut into it. So it's been about 10 minutes, it's almost ready, but I'm gonna plate it. And so there's a lot of ways that you can do this. Obviously the, the one, the go-to is mashed potatoes. What I did, I made a mashed potato cauliflower mash just to make it a little healthier. So I'm gonna put that as a base on the bottom. And I always like serving things in platters, even if it's a weekday, even if it's, it's just for my kids. I don't know, there's something special about that. And it lets everybody kind of have seconds if they want to. Or, I don't know, there's something about it that I love. So it's a little extra work, but it's one more plate, guys. So it's not a huge deal. So since we already have our some of our chimichurri here, this is something I like to just give an extra kick to the mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that here. And I'm gonna teach you a little trick. We'll just swirl it into our mashed potatoes. And it's just, you know, flavor on flavor on flavor, which is never a bad thing. Now, sometimes taking out the first piece gets messy. So if it breaks, and if yours breaks, it's okay. All right, so before I taste this, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of just the sauce that was in the pan that I mixed with a little extra barbecue sauce. And because we have mashed potatoes, and I did a mashed potato cauliflower mash, I think I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese just to make it extra special. Mm, that looks good. All right. Guys, you have to make this. It is so good. It's just tangy and rich and really, really good. By the way, I failed to mention that you could totally make this with ground turkey if you prefer, but do not leave out the ham because that is your secret ingredient. So I hope you make this. I really think you're gonna love it. Wow, you guys, I wish you can smell this. I promise you this is going to be your go-to meatloaf recipe. And if you want more recipes like this, go to marcuslimonis.com or Marcus Lemonis' Facebook. And remember, get in there and cook something.